the next tier of this for me is designing my life in the most wildest possible way. And I'm going to do this because I've noticed that in certain environments, I thrive very well. Holy cow toodles, it's snowing out there. In fact, I think that there is a blizzard that's about to hit. I saw that on the news earlier today. There's a blizzard on its way to New York City, and I think that that might be my cue. I think that might be my cue to start making my way and heading back over to Hawaii. And so that's kind of what I want to talk about in this video, you know, building um, a lifestyle business, because digital marketers or people that build online businesses, well, at the end of the day, that's what we call a lifestyle business. And there are a lot of perks to building a remote business. One of them being that you get to be the master of your own universe, right? You get to do whatever you want, whenever you want. And hopefully you have the, the discipline or you can develop the discipline to be able to make those decisions and start to build your life up in a way for maximum freedom, happiness, uh, with your friends and family and, and all the things that you love and also the experiences and all the things that you would love to do to get the absolute most out of life. So I first got bit by the lifestyle business bug, I guess you could call it, after reading Tim Ferriss's The 4-Hour Workweek book. And some of you may have heard of it. It's a, it's a really popular book. It came out a, a few years back. And in that book, Tim really talks a lot about building a lifestyle business, you know, how to build online businesses and have people all over the world help you to deliver on those services and just a really genius way to take advantage of, you know, being in the 21st century and building a business with technology. And so when I read that book, it absolutely made sense. And it hit me right at the perfect moment because at the time I was a mechanic, I was working on cars and I was trying to get my little side hustle off the ground and I had one client that I built a website for and so I was I was researching more about building websites and and how to build these types of businesses and that's when I came across Tim's book and the funny thing was is that what I took away from the little bit that I read at the time was that it's possible to do this and I didn't even know that it was possible to do this right because before that I really thought you had to you know go to college you maybe go to a vocational college, a community college, like you, these are the ways that you were gonna be successful. This is what I, t I was taught growing up. And it, it wasn't what I was seeing in this book. And although I didn't, I wasn't able to read the entire book because at the time it was over my head. I didn't even know what he was talking about. I was able to extract the little bit about what was possible and that stuck with me. So I actually started a blog right around that time and it was called be anything because I had this dream that I wanted to just be anything, be anything that I put my mind to, be anything that I, I thought that I could achieve if I worked hard and I, I took action on it, that I could do that. And it's funny because that blog didn't turn into anything, but that was when I planted the seed, right? I, I had my first website client, I had a nine to five job, I, I read the book, I created a blog, and I started getting these ideas like what could be possible if I really focused on doing this. And, you know, I researched a lot and still do till this day research a lot about passive income, building recurring income, building up a strong base of, of finances so that you can do what you want. And that is a big piece of building this type of business. You know, if you plan on leaving for a while and traveling, you have to have a steady stream of cash flow coming in so that you can cover all of your expenses. Like, for example, back home in Hawaii, I'm still paying all of my bills, right? I'm still paying for my mortgage, my car insurance, all those things are still going on back over there. And it's because I have a base coming in from clients and, and different things that I have that in my pipelines, right? So in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that. I'm gonna talk about how, you know, New York City has been influential right now for me in this stage of my life. And hopefully you can get some some alpha in, in what I'm what I've been able to do and put it into play for yourself. So just to recap real quick, I've been on the road for almost a year now. It's coming up on a year and time has really flown by, right? I came to New York 
to explore some business opportunities and I've been having a lot of fun here. I ended up getting COVID out here, so I had to stay a little bit longer than expected. And you know, I know New York City gets a, a bad rap from some people, but I had to come see for myself. I came out here and maybe it's just that I'm where I'm at in my business, but it has been insane. I've really enjoyed myself here despite you know some of the feedback that some people told me that was to be expected and, and whatnot. But you know, for me, I was really able to develop some strategic business relationships in the short time that I've been here. And the network that I have from being here is, I mean, it's grown so much and you just can't get that at that level in other places. I mean, in the last month, I've been offered two really like appealing jobs. Now, for me to take a job somewhere else, I would have to, uh, I don't think that I could do that. It would have to be a pretty insane situation for me to be able to give up the freedom that I have to go work for somebody else. I would have to, I would have to stand to gain a lot. It might even have to be something that isn't really monetary that I gain, more of like experience, you know? And so that being said, it was still very flattering for me to get these jobs, right? I was two different situations. I was networking with CEOs, one of them for a, a big investment firm here. And, you know, just talking about marketing, talking about what I'm doing, you know, his ears perked up and he was like, man, it would be great if you came and worked for us. We'd open up a new department for you. And, you know, he, he took me to his office, went to his office and showed me what they had going on. And it was just really cool to see all that stuff, right? And very similar thing happened with another company that sells pre-IPO stocks to uh, for these unicorn companies like Snapchat and, and Airbnb and all that stuff. So, you know, just just having that experience, knowing that those things are out there. For, for a guy like me coming from Hawaii, used to be a mechanic, that's, that's a, I don't know, it's an incredible thing, you know, and I'm very grateful for that. Like I have to remind myself how far I've come and take stock on that pretty regularly. And you know, it's, it's a beautiful thing, but beyond, beyond the business relationships and the networking and all that, um, you know, I, I've, I've really found a cool culture in the crypto community here. I've been very passionate about crypto and NFTs since not NFTs, but crypto in general since 2017 NFTs have picked up a lot a lot since I've been here and that has been very cool as well but you know all that aside the business and and you know investments and all that stuff the food in New York City I have put on 10 15 pounds probably comedy shows I love stand-up comedy and we don't really have comedy shows in Hawaii just last night I went to one at the comedy cellar that was amazing you know the the level of talent of people here it's just incredible I've been going to Broadway shows regularly sporting events all kinds of cool stuff. So I'm really digging the culture here in New York City and obviously my, my apartment here, I love very, very much. So I know that I'll be back soon. I have to go back to Maui to tie up some loose ends. And the cool thing about everything that I'm saying is because of the businesses that I've built, because I've built digital businesses that sell online services and products, I'm able to do this. I'm able to create a life around my businesses, a lifestyle business where I have the freedom to work wherever I want. And the next tier of this for me is designing my life in the most wildest possible way. And I'm going to do this because I've noticed that in certain environments, I thrive very well in. And I don't want to limit myself. You know, we, we only have one shot in life and I firmly believe that you know, we should take big shots and swing for the fences while we can. And uh, I'm in a moment in my life right now where I'm doing that. And so I love Hawaii. And this is a great example. I love Hawaii. I'm from Hawaii. Grown up in the water my whole life in the ocean, surfing, fishing, diving, all those things. And I know that when I, when I go into the ocean, it helps me to reset my day. It helps me to start my day. It helps me to recalibrate. If I'm stressed out, I'll go surf for two hours and come back and be a brand new person. So one of the things that I wanna do is buy a house on my home break, the wave that I grew up surfing. I wanna buy a house right there so that if, you know, whenever I want, I have access to that. I can just go in there immediately, catch a couple waves, come back and do whatever that I wanted to do. If I had access to that, I know this. If I had access to that, it would affect so many other areas of my life and my business. It would just help me to have the mental fortitude to go through very extreme, difficult situations and be able to recalibrate it like the push of a button. And you know, convenience like that for 
and not just myself, I know other top level operators, it's really important. You know, they set their lives up in a way where they have convenience so they can continue to operate at a high level. And for me, mental stability, mental clarity, mental fortitude, spirituality, these are big things for me that allow me to operate at the level that I do. And the ocean is a big piece of that. So I wanna go buy a particular house over there and and I can, I'm getting pretty close to being able to do that. And so that's that's one piece, right? But also for just in pure enjoyment and in business, I like New York City. New York City has been awesome. So you know, keeping an apartment here and, you know, being able to come back to this life that I've set up over here is also a big piece of it, right? It, it's very motivating for me to be around everybody here and, you know, walking around the streets in New York City. And I've said this before, I, I can feel the electricity coming up from the streets, motivating me wherever I go here. And I think that's a big piece of it too. So I want to have a house in Hawaii and I want to have a house in or keep an apartment in New York City. And also, I would love, 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 love to get a house up in the mountain so that my every year snowboarding trip, I could just go to my own place and be able to go hit the favorite mountain that I have. And uh, think about that though, right? Like these are all ideas that I have, big dreams that I have and goals. And I can do those things. Like I can, if I work hard and put my mind to it and set some other goals, like all of that is possible and I can continue to do what I'm doing, but also live my life in a way that, I mean, like I said, I'm the master of my own universe, you know? And so as of right now, I think it's time to head back to Hawaii. I'm not gonna go directly there. I'm gonna bounce around a little bit. Obviously I said, you know, I love my apartment here, but I do need to go tie up some loose ends back on Maui. I don't know if you guys remember, but about a year ago, I bought a property over there. There's about a million dollar estate before I left and it's been generating about $4,000 a month from the rental income from tenants that's after the mortgage and you know again that's a that brings up a great point right this allows me to have a base even the rental income allows me to have or add to my base which gives me the flexibility and freedom to kind of design my life in a way that I want and I take money from my digital marketing agency and I put that money in other investments that generate cash flow like real estate and that's a big piece for me. I'm going to continue to do that. And like I've said with, you know, the, the different areas that I want to live, like those those assets, those houses in these different areas, I'm I'm working really hard on my businesses and I'm taking that money and putting them in these other things that will help me to operate at a different level, that will keep me motivated, keep me passionate, keep me creative. And so I think about the big picture and I think everybody watching this video should think about the big picture regardless of of where you're at if I go back to when I read that book from Tim Ferriss I just thought about the big picture you know I was I was renting a room out in my friend's house at the time and I, I borrowed a laptop to build that first website I didn't even have my own computer yet and you know what I did have was the burning desire to build something bigger than me and I've had that burning desire every day ever since and I continue to restoke that fire by getting around like-minded people and motivating situations. And, and that's a big piece of it for me. So I'm gonna continue to do that. I'm gonna continue to build up that base. I'm gonna continue to stay motivated and design my life in a way that keeps me passionate and hungry for the things that, that give me energy and, and motivate me. So the, the biggest thing that I wanna share with people in this video is not only obviously the dream and the vision that I have, also, I want to stress the fact that it's so important to get a base of recurring and, you know, people say passive income, but just a base of recurring income coming into your business. And what I mean by that is, you know, people that pay you month after month for services or products that you offer so that you don't have to find a new client every time you need to pay your bills because that is extremely important. Now, the, the final piece, just to share w what my plan is before I get out of here. I'm going to go back to Hawaii, but before that, I'm going to head over to Austin, Austin, Texas real quick. I've heard it's amazing there. They have a big tech community there. Uh, I heard it's a really cool city. My wife is from Houston, so she's from Texas, and we both enjoy Texas very much. So I'm going to go over there and check it out, potentially look at some real estate in Texas. They've also got a great tax situation in that state, so I'm also potentially looking at it for those reasons. After that, I'm going to spend a few weeks there, and after that, I'm going to go visit Tom, my co-founder at Remote Millionaires and Offline Sharks, I'm gonna go meet him and his wife in Las Vegas. We've got some work strategies around a business that we need to 
revisit and um, hoping to see a couple of Cirque du Soleil shows while I'm out there. Those are always a lot of fun. Always make me feel very inadequate as a human being every time I see somebody do a quadruple backflip somewhere. So <laughs> I'm excited to go there and, and hang out with them for a little bit. But after that, I will be heading over to Salt Lake City for a little snowboarding session. So I want to get that taken care of and out of the way because I haven't been snowboarding for quite quite some time. And after that, then I will be going back to Maui to really hunker down and get some stuff done. You know, I've already planned out my year 2022 in terms of business, goals, things that I want to do. But now I think going back to Hawaii right now is a chance for me to get back in work mode, in monk mode, and, and really focus on some of the things that I need to do. Obviously, I have an office there too that you've all seen, and I have some things that I need to make happen over there as well, so I'm excited and looking forward to that. And so, yeah, I know this was kind of a rant of a video. I don't really talk about this stuff that much, but I think it's important, you know, just to kind of share where I'm at mentally and, you know, how I plan about doing these different types of things. Because again, if I, I go back to thinking about Tim Ferriss and the model that you know, he shared with me and so many others in that book, just knowing what was possible was really where the seeds were planted for me. So anybody that's watching this video right now, you know, I, I hope I was able to plant some seeds. And if you have any questions about what I'm doing or how I'm doing it or anything like that, feel free to reach out. I mean, I, I try to make time for everybody. You know, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, thank you all for you know joining me on this journey, on this ride. It's it's crazy every single day. I'm gonna hopefully be able to continue to do what I'm doing and you know inspire others to do the same. So with that, I will see you all in the next video. Aloha.